Oh, okay. That's cool. Um, can I just get a chicken, a classic chicken sandwich? Anything else? Nah, just the sandwich is great. Alright, any sauce? Uh, no thank you. Alright, thanks. You know, we should, we should take this opportunity and see if we can get some phone numbers for Adam while we're going through all these drive throughs We can just... <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I just a thought. Alright, so... Popeyes. Yes, Popeyes. Trevor. Yeah. We're at Popeyes. Their sandwich. They're gonna be a contender, bro. It's three ninety nine. It's an amazing price. They are the cheapest. They're two dollars cheaper than Jack in the Box, and a dollar cheaper than KFC and Dairy Queen. Which I didn't think. I didn't think. That, I didn't think uh, DQ and KFC were gonna have sandwiches that that expensive. I also didn't think the Jack Box, Jack, Jack in the Box, one was gonna be five ninety nine. I, I thought they would have all kind of been around the same price. Yeah, I thought they would all be under five bucks. Uh, I didn't think that was going to happen with um, Canes and maybe Culver's, but whatever. Yeah. I mean, chicken is so much cheaper than beef. Like, right? You go to a... They've all been white so far, too. You notice that? Well, yeah. They're, they're, I think... Um, which is odd, because if you watch the YouTubes and you watch... What's that guy's name? Sam the Cooking Guy and stuff. Sam the Cooking right, Guy. Hang on a Hold on. He's gonna interact with some humans. Oh, I have a bit of a trade. Social distancing. Uh, thank you. Oh, that's a hefty boy. Should have got a biscuit while we we're here. I love the biscuits. Get the scale out of here. Put your fat on it. Thank you. All right, thanks. It was it was four twenty two. Four twenty two. So yeah, it's three ninety nine plus the theft. Plus theft. So it's a dollar nine cheaper than every other sandwich automatically. Yeah, yeah, that's crazy, man. Helping you save your dollars and cents using common sense. Okay, I want to pull. I want to park over here real quick. Yeah, just park right over here with, with this other drive through. I'm gonna back in. Yeah, right here. So, oh gosh, it's like getting kicked in the face, bro. I know. It's, it's not good. All right, ready? You got the skill? Yeah, I got the skill over here, bro. I just gotta get this out. First of all, napkins. I do have to say too, KFC did not even give us any napkins. Worst sandwich. They didn't even give us any napkins. Oh. We're, cool. we're sandwiched to date, I should say. All right. All right. So, nice, nice packaging. Nice packaging. Uh, thermal. Oh, hefty. Hefty Look sandwich. That. Thick boy. Thicky thick. You got this sucker on? Yeah. The, the bottom bun is a little squished. Yeah, the bottom bun is squished. That's okay, right. hang on. 10 or 9.66 ounces. Wow, oh, I so, thought it would have been heavier than that. It, yeah, I would have thought so too. Did you tear it first? Yeah. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, 9.66. All right. Grab the cutting board. Um, um, so it's it's the second heaviest, second to uh, Jack, in the it's Jack in the Box. Jack in the Box was 10. But Jack in the Box came with cheese, bacon, and lettuce. So all that adds up to bunch of garbage that you don't need. You just want the chicken, man. You just want the, sh the sh chicken. This, this lady next to us is probably staring at us like, what the heck are they doing? Okay. All right, so they got the pickles. Okay. Um, all right, so there's the cross section. That's some nice thick chicken. Nice thicky thick. Um, two pickles stacked on top of each other. Not optimal. Uh, separate those. I'm probably going to eat this whole thing because... Best. We know from from experience that this is going to be a good ch chicken sandwich. It yeah, has a um, lot of uh, mayo on it. There's yeah. mayo top and bottom on this. They like the main cream sauce. So um, we know that from experience that this is going to be a good sandwich, and we know this because we're fat. So. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm. Who's that other guy? Daniel Wiseman or whatever from YouTube. Joshua Wiseman. Joshua Wiseman. I don't like Daniel. Look at this lady. 
Fuck a lot of fucking. Mm. All right, Chris. It's, it's South Phoenix, dude. Mm-hmm. Crunch factor is off the chains. Um, very crispy. The bun. Um, I would say the bun's on par with um, with the bun from um, Jack of the Box. Yeah. Uh, so it's very good, good quality bun. Um, pickles. I can. I taste the pickles when I bite into it. They're nice and thick cut. We got a lot of uh, mayo that helps with all the breading and the. Um, bread on the sandwich. Mm. Yeah. This is uh, a good sandwich. This is, this is a good, good one. Um, I like their spicy better. So, and that's odd because I don't like the spicy as much. I like this mm. one. Ooh. I like the regular better. Clean up this bun here, and I'll give you a, a, a bun shot of the inside of the bun here. Mm. Bun is uh, slightly toasted there. Of course, they put um, they toast the bun, and, and again, these fast food restaurants. I mean, the, you got to think these guys are are, uh, are not culinary chefs, so they're not they're not super super particular on what they're doing. Uh, but uh, oh. mm. They could toast the buns a little bit longer again, uh, and uh, it would hold up a little bit better to this mayo. Just another, I would say on this one, it's not so bad. I'd probably say another 15 seconds, and they would have done better. 15, maybe 30 seconds, but probably for like more like 15. Mm. Okay. Crunch factor's good. Um, the chicken quality's there. The crunchiness is there. The bun is one of the best ones we've had. Um, the pickles are good. There's adequate mayo to keep it to your food lube to keep your mouth so that you're not dry. Um, hold on, I got a little, couple, couple crumbs here on this paper. Okay, um, I suspect this paper is gonna get uh, some stains, some on some, it. some, uh, some grease stains on it. If you're dealing with fried chicken and there are grease stains, we got problems in a, in a car, you know what I mean? Um, all right, thank god I didn't wear a button up nice shirt, huh? All right. Let's rate this bad boy. Let's rate this bad boy. Popeyes, Popeyes, chicken. How would you rate the chicken quality? Um, it was good white meat. It was thick. It was good amount of chi- uh, amount of chicken. Uh, I'd give it a nine. Yeah, Popeyes nine. I am gonna go with nine also. I still think there's always room for improvement. There's always a little bit of room for improvement. Um, if I had any negative to say about Popeyes, it's that it's not even all the way through, but chicken breasts aren't even all the way through, so it's not really a super bad yeah, negative. You pa- if you pound them out, you though. pound them out. Yeah, I always, I always pound one out. You know, you never got, uh, pound one out. You know, you gotta pound out your meat. You gotta pound your meat a little bit. Um, crispiness. Um, it led. It's the best one we've had so far. Uh, yeah. Um, if we gave, if we gave DQ an eight. I, I would say that was crispier. I would give it. That a nine. was crispier. Yeah, I would say. I would give that a nine. Um, I'm going ten on the on this one. I, I think. I think, oh man, I, I I I hate giving perfect scores, but that's fine. Uh, I'm just saying. I I don't think you could have gotten any crispier than that sandwich was without being, the chicken being dry. Yeah, that's, that's possible. and that's, that's and that's possible. why I'm saying possible. a ten because the chicken was juicy. It was thick it was nice it was seasoned well it had flavor it was crispy and if you went any more crispy it would have been dry chicken you know you're fat when you took a napkin underneath your gut oh. all right sticking with your nine sticking i'm gonna stick with the nine um flavor flav but here let me go back to this crispiness real okay. quick. just real quick because I, I wanted to say something in comparison in comparison to dq dq was very floury in, in, in its uh, in its uh, breading, where uh, Popeyes was very flaky. You know, what I, you know what I mean? Yes. I wonder if that's um, if they marinate the chicken. I'm pretty sure Popeyes breads their chicken in the store. I don't. Oh, think yeah, they, yeah. I, I would agree. I whereas think DQ Dairy is, Queen is pulling out of a freezer. It's yeah. pulling out of a freezer. It's yeah. pre-done. But, it's, but uh, for a freezer job, that's pretty decent for get for DQ to get paid. Yeah. On their Christmas, I mean, they do call it. A, Crispy chicken sandwich. So 
Yeah. What's the pickle consistency? Yeah, we'll, I'll get to that in a second when we yeah. get the flavor here. Yeah. All right, flavor. Um, I, I, I love the Popeye's chicken sandwich. Um, I knew coming into this it was going to be one of the top ones we were going to get. Yeah, same here. Um, that's why we picked a couple of the premium shops where we're not going to like Church's Chicken because they're, you know, they're terrible. Um, we said premium. Yeah. Not uh, sub premium. Um, so, fla but flavor wise, there was a good amount of, of mayo. The crunch was there. I tasted pepper. I tasted spices. It was salty. Um, uh, it was buttery from that from that bun. My hand feels a little greasy. Yeah, uh, yeah. I think I don't think they use buttery butter. I think they use some sort of like um, canola oil and butter mixture. I think it's like okay. a mixture. Uh, as far as getting to uh, who is this, Dave? David. Uh, David. Getting Ward. to his pickle Ward. consistency, two is not enough. It needs at least four, maybe five, uh, on a on a sandwich. Yeah, if you don't have at least, it kind of depends on the size of the pickle too. But if you want a pickle in every bite. You need four to five pickles, and that I want pickle. If it's going to be on on the sandwich, it needs to be on the whole sandwich. Yeah. Um, so that would be mine were stacked on on top of each other. Not a big deal to move that around. It, it's still it's still. Um, but uh, I don't think that take, disqualifies it from take the extra flavor. three seconds to put the pickles spread out. Um, it was a thick pickle. It was crunchy. When oh, I yeah. into it, it crunched. It yeah. was not a soggy pickle. Well, and it's not like an overly vinegary uh, pickle like you get out of a store. So it's yeah. like a quick pickle. It's like a quick yeah, pickle yeah, yeah. Uh, process that they're using. Yeah. Yeah. Um, all right, flavor. How do you rate this? Um, so here's the thing. I'm going to be a little, because I've done it with the other ones in my mind. I haven't said anything. But because it's not the spicy one, there's not that extra flavor. It's just a home style sandwich, and they're just putting pickles and they're just putting mayo on it. Yeah. This sandwich, I would pay an extra dollar for like lettuce and tomato on it, just to get that. Not to say that I want to be a rabbit, but like I would pay a little bit extra just to get a little something extra in there. But with that said, definitely an eight. Okay. I don't think this sandwich would be aided at all by adding anything else to it except bacon bacon's good on everything but maybe bacon or maybe cheese. maybe a, maybe it uh, i see i don't think it needs cheese i think cheese would just make it soggy i don't think it needs cheese I, well then and that's what that's what i'm saying if you put like a, a, crisp, maybe a, pepper, a, a crisp lettuce and then tomato and then cheese on top of the on top of it so that the cheese isn't melting onto the onto the chicken i yeah. think it would benefit because then you could taste the, the cheese separate from the Maybe. From them. But um, that, that's just my opinion. Here's the thing. I am also going to rate it as an 8. And that's not because it wasn't good. Um, I think it, it was by far the best. But we need room to be able to go up from there. And like David said, it's not the spicy one. The spicy one is my jam. Um, the other day... Yeah, you probably get a 9 on that one. Was it two days ago? Two days ago? Two days ago, yeah. yeah. I came down. Thursday night. I had been working all day, cutting up wood. Um, wood. Uh, and I came and I bought two chicken sandwiches from Popeyes. I bought a spicy and the regular, and the spicy one is so much better. And, and here's the thing: the spicy one's not spicy to where you can't eat it. Like, no, it's, it's it's definitely not. But so, I also said I and I told you that night that I like the original better than I like the spicy. And it's not because I don't like the spice of the spicy, because I like the Chick Fil A spicy and I like the all that stuff. You know what yeah. I mean? But. Uh, I just don't like the flavor necessarily. The flavor more so than, um, than okay. just the original crispy bun. We because we got Wendy's right here, and the line's gonna start getting long. Bun. What do you? How do you rate the bun? No, I'll just pull out the shotgun. We'll make the line shorter. How do you rate the bun? Uh, I would definitely give that bun an eight. Um, I think it could have crisped a little bit longer. I think it, um, it it felt like it may have been not quite white, just a plain white bread. Um, like it was, a, and if it was just a plain white bread, it was a good quality white bread. Yeah. Uh, but it it could have benefited from a little bit more butter and a little bit more crispiness on that. Okay. I I agree. An eight. Uh, I think it was just as good as the Jack in the Box. It was better than Dairy Queen. It's better than KFC. Anything was better than KFC. All right. So that's it for uh, Popeyes. We're we're literally sitting in front. of the Popeyes and Wendy's are next to each other. So um, we're right in front of Wendy's. We're gonna do a separate video for that so that we these aren't like twenty minutes long. All right. They probably are already. Yeah, they're pretty, pretty, they're a little long. All right, peace out, everybody. Want to say goodbye? All right, bye.